you're responding to the same questions commonly, you actually can go ahead and hard code those responses in their own workflow. So for instance, if we ask the bot, what are the store's hours? We can have the bot understand, okay, the user is asking about store hours. And instead of looking up the knowledge base, it just says, okay, it's a store hours question. I'll send us to the store hours workflow. And then the store hours workflow, it just responds the store hours. We're using the LLM to understand intent, not to deliver the response exactly. So to set this up, so I'm going to make a new workflow. Now I'm going to go back to our main workflow, which is largely just our autonomous node. And I'll add another core instruction here. And it says, if a user inquires about the business's hours, send the user to the hours response workflow. So to make sure we can do that, we're going to add a card to our autonomous node. We're going to go find our hours response flow logic card. That means in this workflow, we can just, with the standard node we have here, respond to that question. I'll add a simple text card, have the hours written in here. I'll say our current hours are, and then we'll make whatever up. Now as a final step here, I'm gonna add another card and I'm gonna add a wait for user input card. And what this card does is it just waits until the user asks the next question. And once the user asks the next question, it'll send that question out to the exit. Now we have to route the exit. So if we go back to our autonomous node, if we go to the hours response card here, we can turn on the exit node I just want to wrap this back into the autonomous node. That's all we really need to do here. Now, as soon as we ask about the hours, it won't have to look it up in our knowledge base. It'll just send us to that workflow where we've hard coded our hours. I think this is just a fascinating workflow and there's a lot of ways you can end up using this. Very accurate, very quick. Again, using your LLM as a router as opposed to a response engine. It's a very interesting trick.